we already familiar with these instruments inside of the contact player by native instruments when they come like this it always come in pairs this is the acoustic sunburst deluxe the new instrument that they just released and there's a melody version and then there's just the version that plays all of the playable loop or presets or whatever basically that's what this one is Once you press a note on your keyboard, it will just immediately start playing in whatever this play style. So this is Head of Clouds. You click here to go to some presets. You can dial in by selecting the category that you wish, R&B, folk, funk, pop, rock, whatever, right? EDM country. You could dial in like that. Another way you can get to the presets is by switching this here. We are in the contact player, by the way. So. Between these, this is how you see the the routing, the MIDI channel, the output, and then you click over to snapshot, and then there's a drop down arrow, and here's all the presets. You can get to them this way as well. I'm not gonna make this video about this because you can also do the same thing inside the melody. The caviar of the melody version is that it's playable where if you want to create your own chords, you can do so. There's what we call key switching, meaning octave lower or octave above all of the playable notes where you can access the playability, change up the style. And that's what these are on the side here. You can key switch the open, the articulation pretty much, the muted, the flat go lit, I can never pronounce that, and then uh, tremolo. But these patterns is really what I'm talking about. Key switching the patterns, just the way the playability, what it's playing, you know, the style, you know, how it's strumming in or like play, fingering the notes according to the beat type, whatever you're trying to create. Right. So you can play your own notes. You could change that to mute it. Right, and then we can go open. Right, so that's me playing it by, you know, my own thing, but then you can access E1, F1, which is the five patterns that we see here on the left side. As a matter of fact, let's get rid of this this uh this view. Get rid of the side view so we can see it better. So So on my keyboard I'm I'm changing the patterns. And you can also key switch that. So Instead of having like several instances of the same instrument, you can key switch it to like, you know, maybe like the verse of the chorus you wanted to play muted or open depending and you could just switch up on whatever you're doing. Now, if we're accessing the patterns, you can also do this same thing. Change the pattern. Go for the melody. I always go for the melody when I'm messing with any of these instruments. I rarely use these because I can create the same, some of the same patterns because this is all the second one is doing or the first one. This is all this one. This is just playing patterns. The melody allows you playability on your own with the patterns if you want the patterns that's so this is probably like the the best one in my opinion same deal here you can switch get to the the presets and then also you can click here 
and you can nail it down to what you're looking for. They come in four by four or three fourths or triplet, depending on the style you you're going for. You can also change the voicing. So, like for instance, so say we change. So I'm gonna pick a C major chord, change the voicing of that real quick. All right, and I'm gonna just change it while we playing it. So you can hear the difference. Right, so that's that's how that works. And also change the I guess these don't let me see something. Okay, so when you play them individually, that's when these down here works. So if you want it to be mono, so you could change like the the quality of the the finger as it hit the fret down here. If you want that finger sound or the uh, piece room sound. Right. So that's how that's how you you know get in and start customizing. And so we have another section here which further goes into the tone, the body of the instrument. Let me hit this double. All right, so I'm gonna do something pretty cool here that that um you know that makes everything easy. Make me sound like I'm really doing something here. So I'm going to go back here. And you also have the ability to play the pattern. And you can get the pattern, the actual MIDI, out of this instrument. So let me play. I'm going to slow this down. Exactly. I'm digging it, actually. So I'm going to take this. And just throw this in here and now we have the the midi note or the midi notes or the chord now the reason it's the way that it's doing this like i say key switching so if i mute the the g1 down here this is what it would sound like So those notes, I could have imported that myself. You know what I mean? So it's, it's just playing notes. But if you want the pattern to come along, and that's where this bottom note is the key switch. It's not audible, but it, it's triggering the pattern. And let me show you exactly what it's doing. So for instance, we know that we're in the, the bottom octaves, and I could choose a So that's the tremolo. So let's add that little extra something on top. You guys get my point. So it's, it's doing, it's switching back and forth depending on the note that you select. Right. But that's all this is doing. This is not really a note 
because of the the register that it's uh, assigned to everything above this is actually playing the notes so this is why i love going for the melody because you have several ways of doing yeah right you guys get what i'm saying so if we was to keep going uh i wanted to do that just so we can get something going like a pattern going as we start making changes right so if we go here that's doubling now deactivated turn it back on now we could change the mic setting right so it's not in the mute so we're not hearing a difference there choose how much noise man i love the noise of the guitar this is giving it more of the noise floor but we're gonna keep it clean and then we could choose between how sloppy and precise so it can sound more humanized or the tuning that is the tuning. The tuning is how sloppy or precise it is. We can go wider than that in the stereo field. We want things to be more mono. All right. And then the next section will be obviously your amps. You can play around with that. You have these different slots where you can add different effects. I don't know. Let's see. Go with this. Let's change some of the EQ settings. kind of like the sheen on it you know what I'm saying you could do what you want this is another compressor This replica is like a delay. Or you can go ping pong. You know what I'm saying? And then go to any of these and, and and do whatever you need to. And then the playback, we can actually speed it up, slow it down. So we click here. Or halftime. So right now I have it synced to the host, but you can obviously change it to start on key, meaning like any key you press, it will start immediately instead of what it's doing now. And if you have, if you have any issues with the samples that, that loops, like the pattern, you know, these are samples. 
and the time it takes for it to stop once you hit the stop button i think this is this is what deals with that so one fourth is decent right now if you need to stop quicker than that then you will obviously go to the one eighth because eighth notes are quicker than quarter notes so that's how that's done i don't know when you would need to do that but you'll know you know you start playing with these here um so let's keep going So the human eyes deals with the human eyes and deals with like the sloppy I feel like how you know the the note strum or whatever. I mean, you probably can't tell now because it's not really strumming. Or there is no beat to it, that's what it is. We don't really have a beat. I believe if, once we put a beat, you you can kind of hear it. But again, we are not strumming, so. So that's the swing. This is the offbeat. So you could, wow, you could change the downbeat. Kind of like that one better. Go take, take that back. You can change the vibrato of it by moving your model wheel. Change the impact with the pitch bend. And then you can further get into like the tone, the tonality of the guitar itself. If you want a warm wood. You know what I mean? You just kind of keep changing until you find something you like. Uh, it keeps pushing me out. Let's see. Let's pick this one. Right, so that, that's kind of the gist of how that guitar works. So if we put like a little beat together with it. So if this is something you feel like you can get into, feel the link in the description area. I'm Ella, B-Culture, Lifestyle Governed by Art.